welcome everyone. Uh, nice to see some familiar names and some new names. Um, yeah, so this is Adam and Max, and next to me is Zuma Puma, who has uh, also been running a session as part of the festival today. Um, a sacred element. Uh, sacred. Clowning. Yeah, what was it called? Sacred clowning. Sacred clowning. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we've got half an hour and we're going to dive into a movement meditation, which uh, for, uh, yeah, it's kind of what it says on the tin. <laughs> uh, and it's really just a chance for us to um, get into our bodies and enjoy the, the movement and the deliciousness of our bodies whilst also connecting to nature. So I'm going to guide us on a tree meditation for 10 minutes and we'll get to embody becoming a tree. And then we'll dance for 10 minutes. Uh, I'll be playing a song that starts off quite chilled and it gets a bit more ex exciting and then chills out again towards the end. Uh, and then we'll kind of come back together in stillness afterwards. Um, I should probably say a bit about who I am. Uh, so yeah, I've run a project called The Visionaries, which works with secondary schools, uh, offering wellbeing, nature connection and rites of passage programs. Um, I'm really helping helping young you know, young people and uh, the teachers and adults around them to connect more fully to themselves and the beautiful planet we live on. Um, totally fine to have your videos off, uh, although given that it's the Connection Festival, I would uh, invite you to turn them on and dance with us and move with us if you feel called to do so. But uh, I appreciate that some people like to dance naked and move naked, in which case keep your video off. <laughs> um, there's no right or way, wrong way to do this. Um, any, kind, any, um, any amount of movement is totally fine and stillness is also uh, completely fine. So um, yeah, I'll start with the, the short meditation now where uh, I'll invite, so essentially what we'll do is start, well, I'll do the meditation for 10 minutes and then uh, when you hear the music, I invite you to start exploring the space around you um, and just really start exploring the space, the space as if kind of inspired by the meditation that we go through. So uh, we will we'll be becoming a tree in our meditation and uh, so I invite you to move in your space uh, in kind of embodying the properties of a tree. Obviously you'll be moving much more than a tree could or ever would, um, but uh, play around with around what that feels like. Um, great, so I invite you to, to find a comfortable position and maybe you're sitting on the floor on a sofa lying down, uh, seated is probably preferable for this meditation. But, uh, so just taking a moment to arrive into your bodies uh, and by doing so taking three really big deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Allowing your eyes to slowly close themselves. Now just imagining in front of you stands the most majestic tree you've ever seen. Take a moment to visualize this tree and the environment around it. What does its bark look like? What do the leaves look like? How tall is it? Now, imagine you're walking towards this tree as you walk towards it, you can start to smell the fragrances coming off the tree. Your fingers touch the bark. And you can look up to see the size of the tree. The next step forward, 
you enter inside the tree. And in that moment, your body and the tree's body become one. Imagine with every in-breath, your body expands to fill the inside of the tree. Pushing through the rings. Until your skin and the bark become one. Just imagining now that feeling the weight of your body against the ground. You can feel your tap roots of the tree shooting deep down into the soil through your coccyx and your pelvis. It shoots deep into the ground and your legs spread out like all the roots under the soil and spread out into your toes reaching deep between the earth, past worms. Reaching out for all that nu nutrition, nourishment. And just drawing in all of that energy from the soil. Up, up your legs, up your roots and into your spine, the trunk of the tree. This sturdy, great, old trunk. And all of the juice flowing up your trunk, out into the branches that are your arms and your fingers. And feeling like trees, the sturdiness of the tree, yet the flexibility of the branches. Sturdy and enduring, yet movable. Perhaps you can feel the wind in, in the trunk of your tree swaying slightly in the wind. out through the tips of your fingers, the smallest branches and the tops of your head sprout many, many leaves. Drinking in the sunshine, drinking in the light from the sun, this cosmic light that magically turns energy from the air down into the roots into your trunk, down the trunk, down into your roots. And in this way connected to the heavens and the sky and deep down into the earth. This tree of you, of your body being the conduit between sky and earth. Just imagining birds resting on your branches. Delicate birds come and rest on you, perhaps nest in your branches for just a microsecond of your existence. For you're a tree that has seen many, many, many moments. Sitting here, observing the passing of time.
all these amazing properties of trees that are so abundant in our world. Their wisdom, their ease of being, their acceptance. The lessons they give us around connection and community and sharing. How much they share through their roots and through the soil with one another. I invite us now to flow with the movement of the tree as the music commences.
just allowing the body to arrive in a neutral position. To allow stillness to arrive if you've been moving. And allowing your eyes to shut again if they've been open. With our eyes closed, just becoming aware of our breathing. Becoming aware of how we breathe in the air that nourishes our branches in our trunk, our body. And breathe out what we don't need, giving back to all other beings. As we step out of the trunk of our tree and back into our bodies, just reminding ourselves of the intimate relationship between humans and trees, how much they nourish the air that we breathe, that we rely on to live. How intimately we rely on them to live. I close with two deep breaths in through the nose and audibly out through our mouths. <sighs> Thanking our bodies for being so sturdy and flexible at the same time. Thank you all for joining us on that adventure. And just say I'll post, I'll post in the chat uh, a few links about uh, the music for one, but also the work that um, I do. And every day, uh, Azuma and I and a few others have a morning meditation, movement meditation practice at 10 a.m. every day. So I'll post the link in here momentarily and it's free and anyone can join. And we have a beautiful community from around the world who dance at 10, or 10 a.m. UK time. Uh, and we just all jump on Zoom and dance together. Round of applause to everybody. Vulnerability is a muscle. The more you use it, the more you practice it, it the, the easier it becomes.